In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to serve static content from a Spring Boot application. Let's get started. So to serve static content from your file system, let's say you have some static image file or some static PD file you want to serve to anyone. You can achieve that on Spring Boot with the following configuration I'm going to discuss. So first of all, you have to create a new class which will be implementing web MPC configurer. And you have to override a method which is add resource handler. In the add resource handler method, you have to call some other method. So I'm creating a class named resource config wherever I want, but this class has to be implementing web MPC configurer. And also I have added add configuration annotation here. And under that, I'm operating the method. You can uh, place this template code to your project and configure the path and the content that two thing is mainly important here so the uh, path and address handler parameter path pattern so the path pattern is let's say your uh, base url of the application is xyz.com then here the path will be xyz.com slash content slash anything and for the following path the request will come to this directory here here the path is actually a directory so so if you are using windows then the path will be like file colon double slash this is the uh, root path of accessing file and then localhost slash the directory so since uh, we are accessing from localhost most of the time i am ignoring that you can ignore that with a slash so writing file colon double slash localhost slash and writing the thing i have written is pretty much the same so now i have to add the absolute path of the folder i'm going to serve publicly so here in my case i can go to my directory on explorer here the folder I'm serving is under my project in the resource folder I have created a folder named static and under the static folder I have created a folder named public and in the public folder I have an mp3 file named eric.mp3 and now I want to serve this as a custom file so that if this folder contained a lots of file any URL that matches the following pattern for the current mp3 this will be xyz.com slash content slash eric.mp3 so if that happens then you will be able to download the file or access the file so what i have to do is i have to paste the path so by default the directory is backslash in windows you have to convert that with one slash and for Linux, you don't need to actually add triple slash. And now I'm converting the double backslash to forward slash according to Java world. And at the last, I have to also add a forward slash since this public is also a directory. So anything, any request comes to, any request comes like this will be forwarded to this directory. So in my case, if the url is xyz.com slash content slash eric.mp3 then spring will forward the request to this directory to serve the file so let's run the server and check if it works if we want we can serve static file like html file index.html or anything so let's start with the content first. My Spring server is running. I'm going to test to see if the MP3 file is actually downloading or not. So my URL is localhost colon 8080, which is my server. Then for file, I have passed the pattern is content slash eric.mp3. The last part is my file name or file directory from the path I have defined. So if I keep create another folder here, abc, then 
the path here will be abc slash mp3 okay i'm hitting enter and yes my downloader just grabbed a new download request which is this okay so static content delivery is working you have to use absolute path here to serve static content from your disk now if you want to serve static css or html file you can also do that i'm giving an, giving an example with html the file name is test.html under static delivery folder now if we go to test.html welcome to programming career so that's all guys if you want to serve static content from your spring boot application you can follow this i've already given the code in my description you can check out the file and the final conclusion here is if you are using windows or serving the static content from your windows server you can pass your absolute path like this or if you were serving the content from a linux server let's say the file is located under slash user slash local folder then you can just use something like this if you are from linux and for windows you have to use triple slash and the absolute path okay guys that's all for today if you have any question or have any request for any specific tutorial please write your comment down i'll be happy to answer until next time happy coding